Hey guys, are you looking for something to give you more information on your Android display, whether that's your smartphone or your tablet? I've got just the thing. Let's go take a look. We've shown off beautiful widgets in the past, and it's, well, just like its name implies, it's quite beautiful. It has a lot of themes that you can get for it, or skins, that are made by all kinds of people. You can even submit them if you want to build your own, and even have ways to donate money. However, isn't there something else? Well, yes there is. It's called HD widgets, and really its saving grace is the fact that it's so high definition. It's very, very pretty. There are lots of different settings that you can use, although not necessarily skins like you may be familiar with with some of the other widget packs. So what we've got here, this is my uh, Galaxy Nexus running Jelly Bean. This, this widget is really optimized for ice cream sandwich based systems. In fact, the recommendations are that you're running a 1.2 dual core system. I, really high-end specs. However, I've had it run just fine on other phones as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is what I call the, uh, the, the main icon. This is what you want to have on your screen. It's a widget that has, well, the kitchen sink. It's got your clock, it's got your current weather, it's got the current temperature, the expected high and low, and what the, uh, the weather ex is expected to be like, in my case, sunny, 97 degrees. If it only gets up to 97 today, I will be happy. It was quite a bit hotter than that yesterday. It's got the, uh, the day, the date, and of course the city so that you make sure that something didn't happen to your GPS that thinks that you're someplace that you're not, which does occasionally happen, and then you get you know, a forecast for uh, a different area. Over here you can see the forecast widget. It does exactly what you'd expect it to do. This is the three-day forecast. They do have a five-day as well. And then over here are some examples of uh, the toggles and the two-by-ones. So I can turn my Wi-Fi on and off. I can look at my battery status right there. I don't know why it has an on and off feature on that because I really don't want to turn my battery off. I'm just curious about that. Uh, a very small widget to tell you the uh, essentially what the weather's like if you want to have a smaller more compact one lots of different clock styles that you can choose from so how do you uh, get this to work if you're using ice cream sandwich you want to open your app drawer and go over to widgets from there you've got a whole bunch of widgets to choose from with the caveat the first time you install this it may take a little bit of time for the widgets to show up if you want to speed that up just restart your phone work just fine uh, this took about eight minutes before it, it updated on my phone. Some people in the market have complained that there aren't any widgets to choose from. Well, you got to run in the app first and then the widgets show up in a little while. Just a little tip for you there. So you'll notice there aren't a lot of widgets to choose from. There's only five, at least on this phone because it's got this display. On tablets, which I'll get to in just a minute, there are a couple others and they're really kind of neat. So let's say you want to do a two by one because I had a whole bunch of those on there. We could, you know what, let's choose a four by four because I already showed you that one. We tap and hold. Obviously I can't drop it there. So let's uh, try and find a screen that I have room on to drop it. I don't have space anywhere. So we're just gonna put it right there next to my Facebook. The first thing that it goes into now is your selector, what kind of widget do you want this to be? Well, I can either do a full screen 4x4 like this, or I can do weather like that. Whichever one I want. One with, let's see if I can tap, one with the, uh, the time and one without. Let's go ahead and do it without. The next thing that I get to choose from is my background. And I've got all of these different types right here with a live preview of what it's gonna look like. I kind of like uh, really transparent stuff, so I've been choosing this one down here. Of course, if I want to, I can just hit something random and it'll pick something at random. Let's go ahead and come back and select what I want. Once you've got it selected, you've got what you want picked, hit the check mark, and that will drop it right onto the screen and have your widget added successfully. Very, very nice. Now, if you're running Ice Cream Sandwich and you've got extra stuff on the screen, it will scooch it up and resize it so that it will make room and fit. So you can go back in and, uh, and make changes. You can also change this up. Obviously that doesn't look very good, but you can resize this to your heart's content. Really kind of nice. Go ahead and uh, say okay on that. We're good. Lots of different things you can do, lots of styles. The uh, 
the stuff you can do with it is almost endless. Let's see what it looks like on a tablet. Now, remember I told you that it wanted ice cream sandwich or above? Well, that's the case. However, it will run on Android 2.2 and above. This is Honeycomb. This is my Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 7. And you can kind of see here what I've done. There are some other widget options that you can choose from. On Honeycomb and below to add a widget, press and hold, choose widgets. Same thing goes here. You'll want to make sure that you launch the app and wait for a little while before these widget styles show up. On a tablet, you've got some other options. In addition to the 4x4 full screen that I showed you on the phone, you've got a 4x7 half page, which is really optimized for 10 inch tablets, 8x1 small header, and an 8x2 large header. Let's go ahead and select that one. Again, it takes you in here to the chooser. And let's see if we can find that same really transparent one. There we go. We can change our clock style. Let's try that one. You know what? Let's try. This is honeycomb. Let's do the honeycomb clock. There we go. We can change the clock background. If we don't like that, we can choose something else. However we want it to look. I feel like Bob Ross. A eh, little pretty little tree right there. There you go. Can change the clock color. Let's make it something weird. The clock color too, because this has two different uh, dimensions to it. Go ahead and do that. That looks good. And then a sidebar, whatever we want over here. We can either have our toggles or we can have our weather. Let's go ahead and do toggles. And that brings up some options here where we can pick our switches. Let's just pick one at random. Pick that one. And then we can change our switch color because that green doesn't really match with our color scheme here. So there we go. Let's choose that one. Hit the check mark. It says save. And now right there, not at the top. So let's put it at the top. We've got our widget and it looks beautiful. Nice high definition. When we rotate it, things are going to get a little bit more uh, compact. Let's turn auto rotation on. It compacts things up quite a bit, but even still, it looks really, really nice. Just dock to the top of the screen. So that's HD widgets. A little bit more detail than you'd uh, normally expect just to show off widgets, but there's a lot more things that you can see and do with this than, well, what we could cover in a very short video. Let us know what you think. Is this going to unseat beautiful widgets as the reigning king of the, uh, the widgets on Android, or does it still need room to grow? As far as skins go, this has only got one. This is the HD tablet skins but there are going to be more coming soon that you can get right from the app itself. If you like this video and like seeing this in uh, this level of detail, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. If you've got questions or comments, head over to pocketnow.com and leave those down at the bottom of the article where we will be standing by to help out along with everybody else who's watching and has recommendations and suggestions for you. For Pocket Now, showing off cool widgets, I'm Joe Levi.